the electric motor rotates this spindle inside. This in turn pushes the pressure nut out. In turn, it pushes our piston. And if we had this rubber boot now, it would get damaged. And now it's out all the way. At this point, you guys will lose all the brake fluid. Hi guys, right here we have the rear caliper from the Yodara 4. Right now we will push the piston out and show you what happens. This set will simulate the vehicle's 12 volt battery. We will connect the wires to the contacts inside our electrical motor. And then we'll connect the battery to the wiring. And as you can see, the piston starts to come out. Now we will remove the rubber boots, uh, the remainders of the brake fluid uh, may come out during this process and this is how a, our piston looks like. Right here we have the electric motor. Uh, the electric motor rotates this spindle inside. This in turn pushes the pressure nut out or in and uh, in turn it pushes our piston. And right here we have uh, the rubber uh, boot which prevents the dust from uh, getting inside. And right here, inside the caliper, you will also see a rubber seal. This one prevents the brake fluid from coming out. We'll show you again how it works. When you guys, for example, press and uh, activate the parking brake inside the vehicle, 12 volts, our spindle, as you can see right now, it rotates counterclockwise. Now it rotates Clockwise. Both the spindle and the pressure nut, uh, they have thread and uh, the spindle will go inside the pressure nut. We'll hold it in place. On the inside, the piston has uh, guides, four of them, which prevent uh, the pressure nut from spinning once the piston goes on top. And in turn, then it will push the brake pads together. There are a couple of mistakes that can happen if you use external battery to uh, service your rear brakes. Uh, first of all, if you retract the piston all the way back and you don't disconnect the power, uh, what will start happening is the piston, well, the pressure nut will rotate the piston 
and in turn it will damage this rubber boot. If you guys push it out of the way, well, you have already seen it in the be uh, beginning of the video, but what will happen is uh, it will push the piston all the way out. In this case, the brake fluid simply flow out. We will quickly demonstrate it again. First of all, we'll put the pressure nut back on. Now the piston goes on top. You will have to push it in. It won't be easy, but it is possible. And this is what starts to happen, guys. It starts to spin once you try to retract it all the way. Again, the battery is connected, and if you had this rubber boot now, it would get damaged. Now we will reverse the polarity and push it out all the way. And uh, slowly. It comes out. At this point, you guys will lose all the brake fluid. If any of these cases happen to you, uh, first of all, don't panic. There are ways how you can fix it. In case if uh, you retract it all the way and uh, accidentally damage this rubber seal, you can get uh, a set replacement kit, uh, which includes this rubber boot and the seal inside and you will have to replace this rubber boot. If you have not had any previous leaks, this seal will be fine. You don't need to replace it. In case if the piston falls out all the way, uh, you need to check the condition of the rubber boot and if it's intact, you can still reuse it. You'll have to put it back on to the piston and push the piston back in. For that, you will need to use uh, the brake fluid as a lubricant and uh, this will help you to push the piston back in. And another important step after that is uh, you need to flush or replace the brake fluid in the system. And only after that you can reconnect the electrical cable to the actuator. This will make sure that you don't get any errors in the system. Also guys, and this is important, make sure that when you reassemble the caliper that all surfaces are clean from any debris, dust, because if anything gets inside, the seal will eventually start leaking. And now we'll show you how to reassemble the caliper. First of all, the, when you put the rubber boot on, start from the, this end, like this. Next, we'll need to lubricate the piston with the brake fluid. Don't forget about the pressure nut, it has to go in. You can stop approximately here. And now you will need to push the piston inside.
Now you need to push the rubber boot in. We are using this caliper as a demonstration only. That's why you guys can see all this rust. In real life, you will need to clean all that. So now the boot is back on. And now we can test it. And now you can push it back in. Again guys, the purpose of the boot is to prevent the dust from going inside and the, the rubber seal inside, this is what prevents the brake fluid from coming out. Also guys, in case if it uh, comes out like this, this means that it has not been properly installed yet. So you have to make sure that all around the rubber goes in. Now the boot is on and you can retract the piston and this will allow you to reinstall it and install your brake pads. When you retract it, it won't go in by itself, you have to push it in with your hands. And this should be enough. And as a last step, don't forget to flush your brake fluid. Uh, that's it for our video today. I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video.